issue, Doug? Well, yeah, Jeff, and as you know, you know, a lot of folks in Hollywood supported Democrat Stacey Abrams in the governor's race. Brian Kemp obviously won, and there's apparently some a lingering bitterness over that, especially amid uh, sort of lingering allegations of voter suppression. So the question really is whether all this talk of a film industry boycott in Georgia can possibly stick. Brian Kemp was at the Capitol complex this morning with his transition team, preparing to take over the governor's office by this time next month. I'm not worried about what some activist from Hollywood um, is saying about the elections process in Georgia. Georgia officials claim the state's film industry produced an economic impact of nearly $10 billion last year. But some film industry figures say Georgia is unworthy. Is the entertainment industry willing to support the economy of a totally corrupt state that suppresses democracy? Asked actress Alyssa Milano on Twitter. She had lots of company, and Democrats in the legislature say Kemp could risk it by signing religious freedom legislation that he has promised to sign if passed. I'm saying that anything that there is the perception of discrimination is a bad for Georgia's brand, and we want to be make sure that we're protecting Georgia's brand. But Kemp thinks Hollywood is more interested in the tax savings filmmakers can keep by working in Georgia. I'm going to continue to protect the film tax credit. The people I met with during the campaign, that is what they are concerned about. They like our business environment. They li like our low-cost environments. And Abrams, who ended her challenge of Kemp on Friday, also went to bat for Georgia's film industry this weekend. My responsibility is to make sure no one denies opportunity to a hairdresser or a grip or a gaffer because of this, because we want those folks not only to have jobs in Georgia, we want their votes to count in Georgia. What a lot of people really don't know, actually, is that there is already a federal religious freedom law on the books. In fact, it was signed by Bill Clinton in the 1990s, and Brian Kemp has promised to sign a Georgia version of that bill with the exact language of the federal law. That's a bill that's never actually passed the Georgia legislature, and it may get some legs here uh, when the legislature convenes for its regular session in January. Live at the Capitol, Doug Richards, 11 Alive News. Yeah, one of very uh, many interesting stories to come in the Georgia State Legislature beginning in January. Doug, thank you.